All right, guys, so today we're gonna make, start making our candies for Christmas, because I have not started. Today is the 13th, and I was gonna do like a day in the life, but the problem was is I'm on call. So we finished making up applesauce today. You can see that's over there. We did, my husband helped me this morning, and now I'm gonna start on these. So these are caramel pecans. So we take pecans, we double them up like this, so there's two, and I use, now these are gonna be hard, make sure they're not too hard, and you're gonna flatten them out and just roll them around. And then I'm gonna put them on this parchment tray. And then after that, I will dip them in chocolate. So um, I do it different every year because I've just been so, we've been so busy. I have decided that I'm just gonna do one at a time. Usually I'll get all the prep work done and I'll do all my chocolate work at one time. So this is probably the most labor intensive one. So what I'll do is I'll flatten out this caramel and I will just wrap it around like this and now it's covered and there's two pecans in there and I'll just lay it down so I will do this for all this I have I just get these like these craft caramels to use um, they're individually wrapped so if you don't use them all or whatever um, you can freeze them um, you just need to make sure that before you go and try to do this part that you definitely um, that you definitely um, let them cool or, or warm up to room temperature because if not you'll hate yourself as it is my fingers will be a sore tonight but it's a labor of love and these are so good um, so we will do I have more nuts I just had this bag that I had opened so I thought uh, I'll just do and you just want it big enough to, to roll. So that is what we'll do. So we'll fast forward and get some of this done. Okay, so here is my turtles that are restarting. Um, I've got those all wrapped. This is the most labor intensive one. So this one I tend to do ahead of time. So what I have here is I have two different kinds of chocolate. Now, I always used bark chocolate, which let me show you the package. You can get um, almond bark. This is Great Valley. It comes in these big cubes. And then I also have this um, Ghirardelli dark chocolate that I got from Sam's. I got a bunch of those. So what I'll do is I just have one pot. I made my, I put some water in the bottom and I have some extra in case I need it. And I'm just using this as like a double boiler. So what I'll do is melt this. It'll stay hot and then I'll just set it on the wax paper. And as soon as it hits the cold air, it starts, um, it makes it nice and smooth. Now, when I do my peanut butter ones and my coconut ones, I like to like flash freeze it to get it even smoother. This one's hard because those are, you know, it's, it was done by hand. So we'll let this melt and then I'll show you where we go from here. Okay guys, so it's nice and melted um, and this like makeshift double boiler method. So all I do is drop it down. Ooh. Let it drain off a little bit and then it goes really it goes really smoothly onto a different I don't put any wax in it I know some people put wax in it I'd rather it be less perfect than um, Then, um, then to have, there's no reason to eat wax. So you just let it drain and it'll, it'll fall because it's so hot. It'll fall right on itself. And this is the quick part. This part goes super fast. And if it gets a little, you know, it's still hot enough that you can just 
finagle it a little bit. So that's that's it. That's all it is to make these caramel ones. And we will speed this up. Okay, so look how smooth these are. These are still wet, but look how smooth they get just um, doing that and letting it dry. And you know they can have like big bases and stuff. Like this one's dry. This one's dry. I dropped one over here on top of each other. So oh, I did it again. So that's fine. I mean we'll eat those. I should have just got another plate out. And then we have these. These are all still really wet, but. I mean the same thing like as they dry they just smooth right out beautifully so we will let these dry and we will put these we will put these in um, part of our Christmas dessert so these are like turtle pecan turtle clusters so one thing I forgot to mention is so I still have you know quite a bit of chocolate in here so I'll just wipe these sides off and I'll put this in the fridge and right before I go to do it again I'll just stick this back in and add more chocolate to it the chocolate doesn't burn because it's not on direct heat so it'll cool and melt cool and melt so I'll leave it in here stick it in the fridge and when I need it again I'll add more to it there's no point in wasting it and um, I'll just keep refilling it so thanks guys for stopping by and we'll see you tomorrow with a new video